Hi everyone and welcome to a tour of my sunny one bedroom plus den and two bathroom condo located in North York, Toronto. This unit is 550 square feet and although it packs a lot into a small area, the 9 foot ceilings give it a spacious feeling. In addition to the ceiling height, there are so many things I love about this unit and I'm going to take you through it room by room, so let's get started. The first thing that you see when you enter the condo is this mirror. And I have to talk a little bit about this mirror because my dad and I built it together. These are just wood pieces, I don't know what they're called. Basically wood pieces, they already come pre-cut like this except for the length. I sawed them with my dad, painted them black, and we assembled the mirror when we got into the condo. So we actually put the frame up first, then we put the mirrors in, I believe. I'm gonna have a video on this. It turns out we built the frame at the same time that we put up the mirrors. We used an MDF board as the backing of the mirror, which we drilled into the wall studs so it would be secure. Then we glued and taped the IKEA mirrors onto the MDF board. It really opens up the space. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out and how it goes with the condo. It's spectacular. Sometimes when I walk in here at the end of the day, the sun is setting and the mirror is just reflecting the sun setting and it's just, ugh, I, I wish I can show you guys. The first room in the condo is the study or the den. It does have a sliding door, which I don't think I can close because the camera's in the way. I think most people use this as a second bedroom because there are two washrooms in the unit, but I'm using it as an office. I hide a lot of my mess back here. I do have a lot of photography equipment and it is all here. And I managed to fit an IKEA Ivar cabinet back here too. On the other side of the den, I've installed a shelf along the top of the wall to maximize storage capacity. This is where I keep a lot of my books. My birds hang out on this ledge a lot, so I also installed a tiny door and staircase set to make them feel welcome. Isn't it cute? Welcome! This is the kitchen. It's where I film a lot of my baking videos. I just love the size for myself. I actually have a lot of kitchen items as you can imagine from molds to baking pan. I have all my nifty utensils right on the counter itself. This is actually a plant pot. I was looking for some sort of a utensil holder. This was exactly what I wanted. I have my magnetic knife rack right here simply because I don't have enough room in my drawers to put all my knives. I didn't want there to be a block on the counter. I generally don't wash my dishes anymore. I just put them in the dishwasher, which is hidden here. And that's how I get my dishes done. I collect them for a few days and then they all go in the dishwasher. Sometimes when I find myself lacking some space, all I do is go to the island and expand it. I love this island, it's so handy. And it matches with the cabinets too because it came with the condo. This is another angle of the condo. I am west facing here. This is a summer evening, it's around 7 p.m. right now. And you can see it's still very bright. The light is just coming through. And I want to talk a little bit about this light, which I got at Beauclair for under $150. Check out Beauclair. They're so affordable and so stylish. They really upped their game recently. And I highly recommend it. So there you go. It doesn't come with the light bulbs though. That's the only thing. For my bedroom, I tried to go for a cozy feel, which has translated into a boho Scandi decor style. Beside the bed, you'll see my cozy plant corner. I feel that greenery makes the space feel like a home, so I have many plants spread throughout the unit. On the ceiling, I traded out the standard light for a fringe chandelier from Wayfair. It's such a fun and unique statement piece, and it really adds a lot of character to the room. Next up is showcasing my closet. So that is my closet. I like to organize my clothes by color so that I know exactly how to mix and match them. This is the other angle of my bedroom. As you can see, I've hung up the Dyson here. I feel like you're not truly an adult until you have committed to a wall space or some sort of space that's permanent for your vacuum. So, you know, I'm an adult now. Uh, I have my little rubber plant here. And I have my trusty mirror, which has been with me Ever since I moved out, this is over 10 years now. Okay, tell me your Oh, okay. You're gonna land 
back on the mirror anyway, so just chill and land. Five hours later. This is my main bathroom. This is where Francis becomes Francis every morning. I haven't quite figured out how to organize things. There really isn't any rhyme or reason to this. It's just my makeup brushes. Drawers are a complete mess, so I will not show you those. I like it when I can see outside when I'm in the shower because it gives me a sense of security. It's a weird uh, anxiety to have. Hence the transparent curtains. The living area of this condo is where my birds and I hang out the most. One of my favorite pieces in this space is the braided rug under the couch. I feel that it really helps define the space and bring in a cozy element. I'll add a link to it down below. In the corner against the window, I have a shelf for my plants. This is the IKEA LAC shelf and it has been with me through at least 5 moves and it fits seamlessly into every place I've lived in. Under the TV, I have a media unit from Structube and I am in love with the wooden slats. Above the TV, I've also added a shelf to hold artwork and random knickknacks. On the other side of the living space, I've placed my tufted leather sofa. I've applied wood pattern vinyl to the legs to give it a more custom feel and they turned out really lovely. This sofa is super comfortable and I've taken many naps on it. In the corner behind the sofa, I have a Structube Aston floor lamp. The living area opens to the balcony through a sliding door and this is one of my favorite places in the condo and it offers a stunning view of Toronto just north of the 401. I'm all about that cozy vibe and I cover most of the balcony floor with rugs so I can walk barefoot on it comfortably. There's a small IKEA table where I sit to do my work and on the far end of the balcony, I've arranged a lounge area where I've tossed a bunch of cushions so I can relax while I watch the world go by. When the weather is warm and sunny, I move my plants outside, which transforms the balcony into a green sanctuary. Sometimes after a particularly long day, I just sit out here and admire the setting sun. Directly across from the study or den is a washroom. This washroom sometimes doubles as my storage room. I have this wonderful watercolor painting that I got from Winners and plant directly beneath it to continue the theme of vegetation in the bathroom. I have my homemade citrus and clove potpourri. It smells great. And the thing I like about this washroom the most is this is the laundry room of the condo, which I really appreciate because I can fit a full-size metal rack in here with five levels. It's on wheels. I have all my baking gear. My towels, my onions, baking pans, my laundry is my dryer, which is the For those who are tight on space like I am, get yourself one of these. It's a behind the door rack. It's just so handy, especially if you're renting. It comes off without any damage done to the walls or the door, and you can take it with you from place to place. I almost forgot to show that there is another shower. It's a standing shower, and it's really handy because I just put my plants on the bottom, I turn on the tap, and I let water rain down. My plants love it. There is also a tiny closet. In the front, right behind the front door, is where I keep all my clothes and all my shoes. To be honest, I think I have too many pairs of shoes for this closet. Thank you so, so much for joining me on this condo tour. If you have watched up to this point and have put up with my static jazz hands, then we are vibing. Subscribe to my channel for more home and recipe content. Until next time.